everybody, how are you? Okay, it's been a while that I don't post in any video, <clears throat> any tutorial, but it's kind of like um, what is going on everywhere, right? We are in quarantine, we are not going out, I have all my events cancelled, so it's uh, time to spend probably with your uh, family in your house, stay at home, so that's what I'm doing. And it's been already more than two weeks. Yeah, because, um, well, I don't know about you, but a lot of people like do entertainment art sometimes antisocial. Is that a good way to say that we enjoy to be alone too? <laughs> so I'm enjoying this time a lot. But um, I have this uh, design that I wanted to share with you and I don't want more time, you know, to pass because um, I don't want to forget because a lot of times I have ideas and then I just let it you know wait and then i never do it you know i never share it with you so i'm gonna share this one that i made a couple days ago and what it is it's a cow it's a very cute one look at that so it's easy and you can for sure do it for line twisting or for decoration like i did a centerpiece but uh yeah so probably that's you know the last things i've been doing i'm not really even twisting balloons every day because this i love to twist balloons and i do it you know in regular time every day but um i don't like to it's waste balloons i don't like to just keep the balloons and don't give it to someone and every time i make a balloon even for tutorials i give it to someone i go give it to the kids after school uh, to the elementary school close to my house or i go to you know like give it to any kid outside but there's no kids outside and i'm not going outside so it made me think you know why to make balloons Mm, and I don't want to waste my balloons and I want to keep it, you know, safe so then they can last longer because I don't know how long, you know, we don't know how long is going to be all this crisis that uh, we don't have events. So, well, but it's okay. I'm thinking, well, I'm going to make these cows and I'm going to keep it, you know, decorating my, my own house. <laughs> right? Okay, so let's start. You're going to need a balloon scrap of a 350. And you're gonna inflate it probably like four finger bubble, no more. So that's what is a balloon scrap. And you're gonna tie it. You're gonna tie it like this. It's like a pinch twist, the idea. Yep, that's it. So that's gonna be the mouth. And that's the only thing you're gonna need of this Blush 350. Okay, so you can get rid of the air from here and leave some space here to attach it. You will see. Okay, then. You're gonna also need balloon scraps. You can use gray or brown, depending what color is gonna be the cow. If the cow is gonna be white, you can try with brown shoes. When I say shoes, you know what I'm talking about, right there, you wanna see. So I'm gonna start in first with the details. So this is what I'm doing. So then it's a balloon scrap, doesn't matter, look, it is just a scrap, and you make like a two finger bubble, another two finger bubble, and you twist it together. And these techniques, I'm doing a lot of time so just so um if you already follow my channel you kind of know what i'm doing it's just double pinch twist or two pinch twist i love them and i also want to uh i have to confess i'm also making this video because a lot of you are commenting my older um you know videos and you want me to post and and trying to also teach more and be more detailed. Thank you so much for your comments, for your emails. Um, I really appreciate it and it motivates me to make this video now. Okay, so two pinch twists, and then you're gonna cut this, but you're gonna leave some space there because that's gonna be a work connector to the legs. Okay, this is gonna be the shoes, and you're gonna you're gonna make this one more time. So a lot of you want me to make my videos more detail that's being longer because more detail is longer for me <laughs> and a lot of you want me to make balloons in spanish because spanish is my first language and i sh should just speak spanish but i live in united states and i'm used to speak english especially when i'm making balloons when i'm trying to make you know balloons and twists in spanish i start talking too much <laughs> more than in what is in english no. <laughs> okay so let's do this again Two finger bubble, another two finger bubble, twist it together, and lock. Lock, that means pass a balloon through in between these two bubbles. Lock that, and then do one bubble goes, 
one side uh, that is in the back like this and the other one gonna go the opposite side and that's gonna make this to stay a little bit more like plain you see okay now you're gonna cut and that's it you don't need any more so just leave it there it's okay if you can twist for a moment like that okay now we have the shoes then uh this time let's make the cow white because that's the one that's gonna take longer because if it's white you wanna make all those black uh what is tips you know the cow tips what is that type of uh cow polystar something like that okay you're gonna play this leaving like six finger bubble six finger tail six finger tail oh, it's been a while that i make my loose and teach okay so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna start making now the body and the head is gonna be the last part remember all these designs i'm using 260 balloons but you can use 350 and 650 to make your design bigger if you want to do it you know to impress more or to you know do, use it for a balloon decoration or because you want to make it bigger no okay so you want to start making two um bubbles or to make it easier pinch twist like a two finger bubble oh my goodness my fingers are like numb <laughs> You know what? And I'm not twisting. Okay, a pinch twist. I recommend you to lock it. But uh, lock it does mean pass this nozzle all the way to the other side. I don't know if you can see this, but just lock it. So it's gonna be easier. Then it doesn't get and twist. And then you make another two finger bubble and another pinch twist. Then you're gonna measure maybe, you know, depends how, you know, like, because you don't want a, a cow with long legs. You know? So let's make it like four finger bubble and then go back with another four finger bubble those are going to be the front legs okay and then you're gonna go with four finger bubble that's gonna be the body and then four finger bubble another four finger bubble see all is four finger bubble too easy peasy and then here two pinch twists that's gonna be the booty. Yep. Okay. My hair is everywhere. Yep. Okay, now you have this. With this balloon, you can go ahead and make this a little bit um, thicker because you want to be a chubby cow. So you just go ahead and pass this all the way back and coming down as much times. Let's see how it looks better. So I'm going to do it four and then I'm going to go back and this time, look, I'm squishing. This is going to be kind of like the bottom of the cow, the belly. So I'm squishing and I'm making a little bit shorter that bubble, a little bit shorter. So you see how I squish here, there? So that's going to be the, the belly, you know, and that will be fun, right? If you want to make something fun to put some uh, 160s coming out, right? To make the Ubers, what is the TDs? of the cow <laughs> okay so let's keep it like this you have this if you want you can start attaching the shoes so you just grab this and attach it there that's what i'm doing da -dum -dum -da -dum 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 -dum. and a lot of you people want me to make my videos slower you know take my time talk about each the measuring and the way i measure the bubbles you know it's, I, I use my fingers because when I'm in an event, I'm not going to use a ruler, right? So I have ideas with my fingers and that's kind of like the main, you know, idea how I measure, you know, the bubbles. But um, I know, for example, Russians, they use the ruler, right? They have in their tutorials a ruler and that's really cool. They are very precise. I'm not that precise person, <laughs> I have to confess. Uh, I like, and I, um, I like just things to be more uh, relaxed, <laughs> I guess. Okay, so this is what we got so far. And this is a type of body you can use, you can use it for any animal, right? A llamas, uh, cows, uh, horses. So this is the booty. And then from here you can, you know, or make, you can make this is the booty. But depends, you know, how much you want for, um, 
later if you need for what is this um the head so let's keep it like this for a moment we don't know exactly where it's gonna be the booty here or here <laughs> but now we're gonna grab another so leave it like this for a moment and let's grab another balloon 260 white so so far we are using scraps but only two balloons of the same color for the cow that is gonna be 260 or any size depending how big you want this design that is gonna be the same color if you want <laughs> 260 <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. and then this is a scrap and the shoes are a scrap so let's keep going okay now we're gonna do the balloon head the head of the cow we're gonna inflate the balloon like leaving like eight finger tail it leaves always some air out a little bit barb and now we're gonna start look um we're gonna think here's gonna be the neck okay because i'm thinking it's gonna have like uh maybe two finger bubble neck yeah let's do it like that two finger bubble neck and then i'm gonna cut this and you can just leave a little bit to make the tail you see just this little bit and that can be the tail and just attach it there so we're gonna wait for this and this part that is the two finger bubble is gonna be the neck and it's gonna connect the head and the head is gonna be we're gonna start this time making two pinch twists okay see two pinch twists and we're gonna go with a three finger bubble and then here's gonna be a little loop that like a two finger loop a pinch twist and then we're gonna pass the balloon the other side so that's gonna be four finger bubble and then a little two finger loop a pinch twist look from here we're gonna go and do another four finger bubble pass it through there and then on top you see on top we're gonna make two finger bubble a little pinch twist another two finger bubble and we're gonna connect it all the way to the other side the other ear okay when you have that we're gonna go back with the three finger bubble well, yes, I measure the same. And look, this is something really cool is gonna happen right now. We're gonna grab the 350 balloon and we're gonna pass it through here. You see? And then look at this part. This is the back part. We're gonna pull this and pass it through be behind, right here. Grab it and pull and connect it to this little pinch twist in the center, in the middle okay so you're gonna connect it there just pull tie a couple times it's gonna be good okay and then you have something like this and if you want if you're in a hurry you can leave it like that say oh there is you know already looking like a cute cow but with this part look because we already have this for the neck what we can do with this part is gonna pass it to one of the sides okay and if it's getting too tight this part you can lose some air but the idea is this is gonna go all the way around the other side yep so for me i think it's getting too tight and i don't need much so i'm gonna take some air out and when i'm losing air in this balloon let's see Oops very slowly i'm making a little hole yep i'm losing the air what i'm doing is i'm gonna pass it through here around and make sure i have enough space here to pull and connecting to this two pinch twist then okay so you can tie them that's gonna be good if you want but look if i'm already using this piece to pass it around and pass it and pass it around then if you know that there's gonna be another balloon passing around. You don't need to tie that one, the, this one, this one. You need to tie it, and now you just grab that piece, and that's gonna be the one that is kind of like tying already, you know, what you already did. Is that clear or not clear? <laughs> so you have something like this. Ay, 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 I love it, I love it. So you just accommodate, you know, the bubble shapes. But you tell me in the comments, 
because when I made this design, I thought that this is adorable. And look, it's not done, and it's again. Okay, okay let's now grab the tail. This is just a little simple, simple little cute bubble. You know, very squishable. So you decide how you want to keep it. And you attach it in the back. Yeah. And remember, this is a way to make this design. With practice, you can make this design your own design. That means you can start with the head instead of with the shoes. You know what I mean? Okay, now let's do the other detail. Well, so we have this, it's cute, but now let's grab, and this is the thing, it's taking also this video long because I wanna use my balloon scraps. And you see here, this is like my case. I have lots of scrap. I just have to look for them. So try to organize this time. And I'm using, this is my bag of balloon scraps. Um, I'm thinking black will be a good idea for us. So I have a balloon scrap right here. And I'm gonna inflate it. Let's see. Ta -da! Like this. You don't need much. So you're gonna make one, like a two finger bubble, or even smaller. It does depend on you. Tie it into like a pinch twist and leave some space like, like this. You see? Leave some space there. That's gonna be one eye. Now we're gonna do the same for, of course, the other eyeball. Two finger bubble, tied into like a pinch twist idea. And you save this for other eyeballs, for other cows, <laughs> and you have this. Now, this is a cool part. The eyes are gonna be in here, between this bubble and this one. So how? Remember the nose or this part of the mouth, it has like a like the balloon, you know, that goes all the way through here. So look, I'm gonna show you the way you can see. The, if the eye is gonna be here, you know, the eye of the left side of the cow, make sure this little scrap goes all the way the back, this part. Look, you see, uh, let's see. You see how I'm doing? So now I'm gonna pull from this side, you see? And that's gonna help me to don't make the eyes too close. They're gonna keep their distance. So if I'm using that side, that eye, all this string in the back is gonna be connecting the other ear. It's gonna give some pressure. So I'm going to connect into this pinch twist. You see? And that's gonna give some uh, distance and pressure, but it's gonna look in good. And look, this is one eye. Now let's do the other one. That means we're gonna connect it here and it's gonna go all the way to this pinch twist. You know? So let's do it. And go behind the balloon, the 350 that is going through the inside. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. And now from the back, I go all the way up to, now, if this is the eye that I'm adding right now, we're gonna connect it to this pinch twist. So let's do that. And when you have that, pull the eyes and you have all this looking really cute. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Look. Okay. Now here, why this pinch twist? I thought it was a good idea. So then I connect the mouth all the way here, but also I can attach some horns. So what color to use for the horns also depends on you. If you have gray, if you have, um, I like that color that it's more toffee, you know, or you can use blush. So this is what I'm using. And it's just a balloon scrap because if you're making a bull, maybe you make it bigger, that part of the horns, but it's just a little cow. So you're just gonna make like a look, bend it, you know, and that it's measuring like no more than two finger bubble. It's a little bean. Twist it and bend it again. And it's another two finger bubble. You see, it's just a little bending there. Another two finger bubble. And then you're gonna cut and tie it. Okay, so you have this, look. Okay, so having this, you're going to connect it to the pinch twist. That is right here. Okay. And just twist, you can um, and just a 
accommodate things but look then the pinch twist i like to kind of hide in and pushing in in between you see okay so i'm just playing here to make a better shape but uh, i'm sure you can make it better they are kind of too close but that's okay <laughs> now these pieces these little things you can cut it to make it look you know cleaner your design now let me see i had to admire this little cute cow i took you it is looking like a really cute cow look now you are going to grab sharpie time yep and it's a very simple sharpie time because it's just here the nostrils that is going to be just like holes like kind of separating one to each other and then a smiley face and you decide if you want a big smiley face or the small one that's all depend on you i'm just doing very simple i know in this part you are totally much better than me grab a pink sharpie and also inside why not color it mix it with a little bit of the black that's gonna make some dark and then here you can make some cheeks yeah that's why not <laughs> and let's see how it's looking you see some cheeks in the size and people may not notice you can have a hot pink that is not gonna look better or you have also the face painting you know pink color paints which is awesome but um i don't so also you can make eyebrows if you want eyelashes so but another good thing because it's already looking like a cow but if you will start making these things that are the tips of the cow right <laughs> So you just go ahead and do it. Oh um, my shop is losing, it's losing ink. My goodness. Another good recommendation now that we don't know when we're gonna start making balloons again. Take care of your balloons. Keep it in a safe place that is, you know, um, not so hot, right? Don't let the sun, you know, expose. Don't expose your balloons too much to the sun. And this is just, you know, something you can do it your own style. This is the way I'm doing. Just not really a plan on that <laughs> just keep going and doing some dots and and just making some you know deformations in one size and that's the idea and look if you start making cows because with this design you can make your cows brown gray you know and a lot of different colors even you can try with a pink color and i'm sure with this technique it's gonna look like a cow no matter what color balloon you use and that's another really cool part of this design i love it i hope you like it please let me know in the comments what do you think about this design i was thinking also this technique this type of head we can use it for a lot of different other animals even you know for an elephant you know and i can see it it's not uh, you know in my in my nature <laughs> but i think we can do it right because <laughs> if you, we make this loop this loop longer you know and keep going like a, a like a warm idea it can look like a really cute elephant maybe i should try to do that in another video not right now this is gonna be all for now and i really don't know when i'm gonna be posting more because I don't know. It's all about your know, motivation, I guess. How in the mood you feel. And it's kind of like not feeling so good these days. How are, about you? How are you feeling these days with all this virus and taking care and people freaking out? And, you know, what I'm doing is just stay at home. Yep, not coming out. I'm inside a house. Good thing I live in a very um, big property. So I can go outside, you know, to have some vitamin D and, you know, exercise. <sighs> okay, so I hope you like it. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget, you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know. So you go, um... Go donate to my uh, PayPal account at pacaglobal at gmail.com and I will appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.